Welcome back creators, today we will be importing a video to our timeline. This one will be used for a technique called rotoscoping. Stay tuned. We will start by creating a new project, then we will be uploading a video that you want to use for your sequence. I'll upload one of my character as well because I want to use this character as a reference for my sequence. You can see that the video appears in different frames. That's how we are going to create our animation, drawing each frame at a time. What I'm doing here is tracing each frame at a time just for reference only. This will show how the movement will be created. Distance in sequence, it will be easier for somebody that have a human-like character. For those of us that our characters don't fit this standard, this dancing sequence will be challenging. This will determine how your character will dance. For the speed purposes, try to find a dancing video that you can loop. You have to take into consideration that you have to sketch and paint every single frame for the animation. This will be a very repetitive process. And we continue outlining every single frame. You can move back and forth to see how your animation is going. Remember that I'm just tracing for a demonstration. Now you can see the movement with just few frames. Now I bring my own character into the scene and you can see that the legs are a little bit shorter. This will be a little bit more challenging but not impossible. The difference will be the way that my character dance versus Pennywise dance. Either way, following the sequence, it will create some type of dance that at the end it will look cool. Also remember, if you change the frames per second, once you have the dance done, this will alter your dance a little bit. You can see that I keep moving my frames back and forth to see how the movement is going. Now I bring my character for color reference and I started coloring my character. You can see that when I apply the color with the bucket, there's a little gap in the edge. You can fix that gap by moving the slider above. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show the whole painting process in this video. If you wanna know how to color the character in Toon Squid, you could go check my other tutorials in my channel. The tip of the day, if you are creating a symbol from a sequence, please duplicate the sequence just in case you need to modify it later. And here it is our little dancing animation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help the channel greatly.